Right then, got a bit of a brew on. It's um, six o'clock Spanish time. I've had a bit of a forage. Um, lots and lots of herbs, but no, I haven't found anything around here which is like, you know, full on sort of meal to, you know, fill you up and all the rest of it. I've had a good scour of the river and uh, no, no fish in this river whatsoever. I don't know whether this is due to what's happened previously with the that flash flood that they had, which I mean, you can see like the scarring here that it, it was absolutely full on. And talking to some of the locals that they had cars coming down here, you know, freezers, fridges, that kind of stuff, caravans from further up the river where um, people have settled and stuff and all sorts of bits and bobs. So I don't know whether the river's completely knackered because of that. But, um, no, all I've seen is frogs. And, uh, I'm not really out for eating frogs at the moment. And the only ones I've seen are tiny as. So you'd have to gather loads and loads of them. Like I said before, I've got a small food source and um, my mother-in-law's farm is not far over there anyway and uh, because I'm sort of new to this area I don't want to be mucking about with treading on other people's land you know they're quite protective and I don't want to upset anyone but this is a beautiful spot I've been all day I mean there's eucalyptus there's all sorts of stuff around here and I mean some of the herbs you can actually eat some of the roots and stuff you know which is a bit like fennel it's the fennel family and that was you know it's quite refreshing you know but um, there's um, freshwater mint I've not found there's some other stuff which is like um, like remedies for like headaches and stuff like that but not what you could you know chuck in a meal I suppose if you've got a headache yeah chuck it in there but yeah and uh, I don't know if you can see this let me try and zoom on it if I can keep still there we go this cactus here I mean the teeth on it is the barbs or spiky bits whatever you want to call it are full on but this stuff you can pound it pound all the pulp out of it and the local goat herder that I met up with yesterday uh, makes like a, a slingshot not the type that you kind of know as soon as I say slingshot and it's to basically keep the you know they sling a stone at a goat keep it off other people's olive trees and stuff like that and also they, this stuff they chop it up and um, they rub it on a cup so it, it has got some decent properties. There's no white sat from this either, by the way. It is um, clear sat. And I mean, they're actually huge when you're close up. Some of them are, you know, it is, uh, you know, it's big stuff. But yeah, the fibers, even when they're, you know, they're wet, they're still strong. And, um, which I had a go at. Yeah, once they're dried out, they're, they're, they're full on. But yeah, lots and lots of eucalyptus trees around here. And there is some birch. But as you can see, this is just like, uh, it's like, as a kid, you know, watching the old Apache films, it's just, it's just what it's like. It's just, quite barren you know and I've, I've seen no rabbits the only thing I've animal wise I've seen is a mongoose caught in a trap because it's um, it's killing the partridge which will, you know the locals hunt and uh, but no I've seen no bunnies I haven't seen any pigeons <laughs> 
what I've seen is like little little birds, you know, songbirds. And I'm, I'm not going to be doing anything like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I'm I'm glad I bought my um, travel hammock um, as it has the um, the mozzie net. So, I'm, I'm by the river. They do have mozzies, and they do have scorpion, and they do have snake. They have a viper out here. I've not come across any. Um, all the firewood that I've gathered so far, I've you know I've I've got a big stick with me and I'll make sure that I kick that around with the stick first before I even attempt to pick it up because the scorpions are quite small but they do pack a punch I mean it's not fatal unless you've got something wrong with you know dicky art or what have you but um, you know it, it's worse than a beast thing I don't really want to be worried about that and, um, and the viper yeah that you need treatment for that but I've not come across any so Good, good. But yeah, beautiful place. I mean, the heat is absolutely phenomenal. From <laughs> from what I'm used to at home recently, it's just yeah, it's cool. It's nice. It makes a nice change. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be nice and toasty tonight. It is blowy. But apart from that, it's all right. Got a little bit of a brew going on. I can have a little coffee. Down here, look. Sit in my chair. Cast that, you know, catch the last of the old rays. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to chill out down over there. And I've got the carton of the local vino, surely. Just to numb me a little bit. But no, it's going to be a good night. 